Good afternoon from the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here to discuss a major winter storm impacting Southern California. So let's get to the details. Here is a look at satellite imagery. This is a powerfully cold winter storm impacting the entire U.S. West Coast. And this is going to slide to the southeast. And we have two frontal bands, one entering Southern California this afternoon and another one south of the San Francisco Bay Area. These will dive southeast, bringing cold air to Southern California, dropping those snow levels. Here you can see this on model simulation. This is very cold air, uh, rare to see it this far south. And it dives to the east. And then we have another system after a break Wednesday and to Friday, diving southeast Saturday. So we're going to have unsettled weather here through Tuesday night with snow levels falling. That system departs to the east. And then another storm system looks to be on the way for the upcoming weekend. So we stay in an active weather pattern. Here's a look at model simulation. Wanted to show you just we're going to see bands of precip moving in from off the Pacific as that cold storm slides to the southeast. Snow levels will drop, so we will be seeing snow at levels rarely seen as low as the foothill locations Tuesday afternoon and especially Tuesday night as that cold air dives southeast. Here is a look at the wind gusts. We will have increasing southwest and west winds with the storm system, and you can see from the ridge tops to the desert slopes, gusts 40, 50, even 60 miles per hour possible from especially the ridge tops to the desert slopes. And for the coast, 20 to 30 gusts and the high deserts will be blowing pretty good at 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Here's a look at the total precipitation. You can see coastal locales about a half to one inch, but those coastal mountain slopes, two to three and even four inch amounts are expected there. And then if we look at the total snowfall, we're gonna see snow levels drop they're at about 5,500 feet here this afternoon, but they'll steadily fall tonight and especially Tuesday and Tuesday night. Snow levels will fall down as low as 2,000 to 2,500 feet Tuesday night. What that's going to do is cause snow to accumulate through all of the major pass levels. So this includes I-15 and the Cajon Pass uh, if you're going up through the Grapevine or along I-8 in the San Diego County Ma uh, Mountains, those passes will be impacted and snow covered here by Tuesday night. In the meantime, it looks like tonight through early Tuesday, it's those San Bernardino and Riverside County Mountains really impacted, and then down to the San Diego County Mountains Tuesday and Tuesday night. Even Riverside County Mountains, look at that, the Santa Anas could see snowfall, and that could impact Highway 74. So in summary, that cold air moves south into Southern California. Coldest air moves in Tuesday and Tuesday night, lowering those snow levels, dropping to 2,000 to 2,500 feet. Significant snowfall, especially above 5,000 feet. And I want to mention, it looks like near blizzard conditions will occur at times as that combination of heavy snow and blowing snow will be a factor in rapidly reducing those visibilities near zero at times. Rare snow will hit the foothills with this low snow level. We could even see a trace to an inch over the high deserts and in the foothills of the Santa Anas and the San Diego and Riverside San Bernardinos. Dangerous travel conditions, as I mentioned, through those passes, and that occurs late Tuesday, especially by Tuesday night, and the strong winds in the mountains and rain from the coast to the valleys. Luckily, intensity not so high, so we don't anticipate flash flooding or any concerns with our recent burn scars due to the light and moderate intensity. So that does it here. Stay informed. We'll keep you up to date with the latest. Visit our webpage at weather.gov San Diego for all of the latest updates. Stay safe.